not extremely dangerous bad but it was wobbling all over the place what is going on guys i'm working different tests i don't know this beautiful montage part my life as well so first off, let's fix everything that I didn't mention in my previous video of everything that was wrong about my tourist port because I only mentioned the outside. Now let's talk about a little bit of electrical and a little bit things that are out of place. Now remember, this is when I just took it out of a one year storage. Now keep that in mind. It's not how it is present because people that follow me on Instagram know how it looks right now. It's completely different as to how it looks in this video. Now let's take the windshield nozzles off because I have aftermarket ones and brand new, the driver's side never sprayed. So I left it on there because I think at that time, like New York City was going through a dry spell and it never rained. So it didn't really bother me. But now it's starting to rain again like normal. We have to take this off. So I bought a new pair. I managed to find the same model. And then uh, my old one was RGB, which I couldn't control RGB, which made them illegal. These ones are completely legal because they are white. And the Le Creme de la Creme on top, I ceramic coated it so it could last a little bit longer. Next, we have the passenger side fog light HID that was dangling off for some reason. So I just find a place to secure it and I secured it. No more raggedy look. So here we're going to visit the driver's side fog light that I didn't want to turn on for some reason. Now before it blew like two ballasts, and I thought it was a ballast, but after a deep deep inspection I found out that it was a wire harness that was corroded and it didn't let the electricity go by so I changed the harness and BAM next we're gonna tackle the headlight beam now the problem with this is that when I was making those headlights a full dust I have to put you on blast here brother he put the high beam in the low beam and the low beam in the high beam so when I was driving I had the high beam light on because it was a low beam and so I just fixed that by reversing the polarity in the, in the wires and BAM there you go it's fixed and after a few fixes, look how good she is looking right off the bat. This is just with a little bit of touches and look how good she looks. <laughs> Amazing. Next, we're going to tackle the dashboard LED right here because these are LEDs. I don't have the original factory ones because the original factory ones are kind of dull and I don't like it. So I put HID everywhere on this panel right here and the climate control and it looks but a little bit of chicken tab. It's very good. It brightens up everything a lot. I recommend if you have the motor sport to do this, put LEDs on the dash and the climate control. You will see a great amount of difference. Now let's move on to the mechanical size of things. Now, when I stored the motor sport, I had a suspicion that my front driver's side caliper was seized, and I was right. I checked it with a video I, I did here. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. How to tell if a caliper seized. Wait, I'm not going to tell you how. Go watch the video and then come back if you want to know. But I fixed that off camera because I've already done that to my brother's Montreal Sport. If you haven't seen that, I'll also link in the description and in the corner right here. However, it's the same process. I didn't want to re-record something that you guys already seen that I already uploaded. So there you go. So great. I changed that already. Now, a few weeks later, I kept driving, right, of course, and then my passenger rear caliper ceased. What I did was I bought both rear ones to change them both at the same time because I didn't want to deal with it again and then drive around and, and, and then that one ceased. I'm like, I know the saying, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, but these are very old. I was already down there, I had my tools out, so why not just change both sides and have a peace of mind. And lastly, if you're wondering about the tires after one year of storage, then you are right to worry because these were dry rotted horribly. Not extremely dangerous bad, but it was wobbling all over the place. I thought it was the alignment, but it was actually the tire that was wobbling. It was like dry rotted. So I was looking for tires and for some reason, COVID affected the tire market as well. They're saying that they don't have my tire because it's, it's so difficult. That number, 255.70s R16, it's so difficult because of COVID. It's like the most idiotic reasoning for them to blame COVID on. Oh, it's COVID. That tire is really hard to get. What? If they transport it at size 10, they could transport a size 16. I went to a lot of shops. Nobody had these freaking tires. So then I turned to Facebook Marketplace and then I found 
some good used ones that had like 90% thread on them. I went over there and got them. It was like an hour and a half away, but it was worth it because nobody had it around me. So I went over there, got it, installed them. Now I won't show that because if I do, I will spoil another video that's coming up with another upgrade for the wheels. So stick around for that. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the little fixes of my motor sport when I got it out. These things happen throughout time. So that's why I waited until I've done everything and then compile them and explain what's going on because I was all over the place. I mean, all over the place, fam. If you liked the video, please give me a like on this video. And if you haven't watched the other video of my motor sport, please do so in the playlist that will be linked in the, the in the corner or the description, whatever it is. And uh, yeah, I'm just one, guys. God bless. Separate up.